Today's golf tip is brought to you by Rose Creek Golf Course. We all want to play like the pros, but it's not always the best idea for us to try and hit shots like them. In this week's Valley Today Golf Lesson, Matt Cook, the head pro at Rose Creek Golf Course in Fargo, shows us how keeping the ball lower around the green can help us lower our scores. Today I want to talk about an area of the short game. Those are those shots that we're going to actually hit from closely around the green. My philosophy in the short game is I like to roll the ball whenever I can. I'm going to chip the ball whenever I can't putt. I'm going to pitch only when I can't chip or putt. And I just find that you really kind of want to weigh as far as what's your most successful shot and you know what is the least amount of risk. And I just think a lot of times when a person tries to hit that high lofted pitch shot that you would see someone like the tour player do like Phil Mickelson for your amateur more times than not you're going to find that that's a shot that's not a real high success and a lot of risk so I'm going to demonstrate first of all from this shot how you know we're off the call of the green a little ways um, it's relatively smooth and I could actually go ahead and elect just to go ahead and putt this ball so as I get set up here I'm going to try to just roll this up there and you're gonna see that the ball finishes not too far from the hole, so not too bad of a shot. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little lower lofted club, and I'm gonna to try to hit a little lower trajectory shot, a little lower height, and have the ball kind of run on up there. It's a little bit probably more difficult than trying to run the ball up there with a putter, but yet still pretty high success rate, not as much risk. And then finally, I can grab a more lofted golf club here, and I can try to play more of a pitch shot once again. So here we're gonna have a lot of height to the golf ball, not a lot of rollout. And so you can see that all three of these shots will, can actually have some success. However, as I mentioned before, I think probably for most people, they're going to find that to be able to keep that ball roll, get it on the green as soon as, as, soon as possible, and roll up to the hole, is probably going to have a better, higher success rate, not as much risk. And hopefully, like I said, you'll have much greater success as far as in that short game. Matt and the other pros at Rose Creek offer personal and group lessons throughout the summer. We've got more info posted on our website. And you can of course watch for more golf lessons Thursdays throughout the summer right here on the Valley Today. We'll also post them all for you at valleynewslive.com. Just check out the Valley Today page. You can check out your golf lesson before you head out to the golf course. A little windy yesterday. If you were heading out to the golf course, what's our forecast looking like for your round today? Well, let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Green for Weather on the Ones. Good morning. Well, the wind is going to be with us, unfortunately. That's going to be a bit of a problem. In fact, it may end up being even stronger today than it was yesterday. Here's a look at what we can expect. If you have an early tea time, there are some showers out there in the valley. They should be clearing the Fargo-Moorhead area in the next couple of hours. So we're going partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 60s by noon, a partly cloudy cloudy with temperatures in the 70s and if we can get some more sun maybe some low 80s but that wind's going to be working against us shifting from the southwest to the northwest and picking up in that 10 to 30 mile per hour range but we may have some gusts that are up to about 40 miles per hour so that may make things difficult for you out on the golf course. Here's a look at what we've got going on right now. Those strong storms, the severe weather winding down, but there are still some areas where we're getting some rain, even some lightning and thunder in parts of the valley. You can see that weak line of showers uh, that are working their way eastward. Some lightning and thunder in northwestern parts of Becker County and uh, heavier rain there. A little bit of light rain moving through the FM metro right now, and then that line does extend down toward the Lisbon area too. So you may end up just running into this briefly this morning. 68 in Fargo, your temperature in Grand Fork, 64 degrees, and the wind is already picking up. We have a gust to 32 miles per hour in Devil's Lake and 23 in Roseau. So drying out today, a little bit cooler with temperatures in the 70s to low 80s and breezy as well. Let's check in now with Al for a traffic update.